Hello lovely people, how are you all? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Right guys, you are either gonna turn this off, <laughs> turn this off immediately in disgust because I'm talking about this in August or you're like me and you are absolutely here for the autumn and Halloween content even in August because I know I am. Can you believe I'm actually filming this in a heat wave as well? It's the last day of the August heat wave today. It's like 32 degrees outside. And I'm sat here surrounded by roughly 100 pumpkins with a cup of coffee. This, this is my happy place. Like I am an autumn, winter soul. I love autumn, it's my favorite favorite season and then I love winter because I'm Christmas mad as well and then after Christmas I'm pretty much over it and ready for spring. Obviously we're nearly in September now and I am just starting to get really excited basically. I have already started topping up my decor collection so I have a bit of a haul to share with you today. Some of the things I'm going to show you I actually bought last year but I bought them sort of later on in, in the season when I'd already filmed like all my hauls and stuff and I just never really shared some of this stuff with you. So some of it is brand new, like literally bought this week and some of it was bought last year, but you might not have seen it yet. And honestly guys, none of these pumpkins were extortionate. None of my decor is extortionate. I've got so much more, like there's literally, a giant box behind you on the sofa filled with so much more, but that's all older stuff that you've probably seen before, but there'll be lots of decorate with me's where you'll see everything. But I just wanted to show you where I've got my stuff from because I think it all looks quite expensive and really lovely high quality, but like I said, nothing has really broken the bank. So I'm really excited to share with you where I get all my bits. Mm. And my new favourite pumpkin. I wonder if you can guess which one I'm talking about because you can see most of them, but one of them I think is my new favourite. Let's get started. Sorry if you can hear Trevor snoring in the background. He's right there on his bed and he is so loud. But if you're a subscriber, you will be more than used to the noise of Trevor's purring behind every video. I think I'll start with my brand new stuff. So a few days ago, I took my first autumnal trip to TK Maxx. So TK Maxx, HomeSense, they are pretty much the same shop, all the same stuff. And yeah, even in August, they had their autumn stuff out and ready to go. It's my kind of shop right there. And they had some stunning, stunning bits, one of which I think is my new favorite. So first one I picked up, now this is heavy. You can't really tell obviously on the video, but he is weighty, really high quality. And I think you can kind of see that he has this sort of velvet effect to him, which I really, really love. All of my sofas in my house are velvet, and I just love that effect. I also loved the colour. Sage green is my favourite colour. So I really, really love the colour. It's, I said it's like halfway between sage and grey, you know? It's a lovely shade. Pumpkins don't have to be orange. As you can see, a lot of mine are not. They can be any colour you want them to be. This is purely display. It doesn't have any other function than to just sit there. But doesn't he look beautiful? And he has this little gold stalk as well. And my dining table furniture is gold. So I think he'll fit in beautifully in my kitchen dining room this autumn. I was chuffed with him. He was the first thing that went in my basket, actually. And he was £8.99. So there you go. Literally less than £10 for this ginormous and really good quality pumpkin in TK Maxx. Get there quick. So that was the first thing that I picked up. Then I found my favorite. She was hidden. She was right at the back of the shelf behind loads of mugs and stuff. I wonder whether someone saw her and tried to hide her to come back later. Because there was only one of her left. I've still got her label on. I need to cut that off, but I wanted to keep it on to remember how much that she costs. But she is so cute. So she is a knitted pumpkin and she is really soft and squidgy. As you can see, I love when I'm calling her she, I can't call her it. She's a she. Really soft and squidgy. And again, that beautiful shade of um, sage green that I just love. And these two, I think actually really complement each other 
they look lovely together. So the stalk is plastic, but the rest is completely stuffed and squidgy. And I just love her so much. I don't have any soft squidgy pumpkins like this. I always see other people have them, but this is my first one of my own, probably the first of many. And you know what? She was £5.99. £5.99, less than £6 for this adorable little pumpkin. I just love her so much. But this is the one I was talking about. I'm pretty sure this is my new favorite, but I might change my mind as I go through and remember, remember some of the other ones, but I love her. You back down here. Also in TK Maxx slash HomeSense, same thing. I got my first autumn candle. I get all of my seasonal candles. I mean, we're only talking autumn winter i don't really like candles in spring or summer to be honest it's just not the same is it so all of my autumn winter candles i always always get from tk maxx sometimes b m they do a good one but the scent is never as strong as the ones that you find in tk maxx the best ones i think are usually sand and fog or dw home so there were loads of sand and fog ones but i decided to just take this one home for now you know it is only august so i'm gonna see plenty more candles that i will probably purchase so i got this one dw home pumpkin creme brulee this one is called and that is literally what it smells like a creamy pumpkin basically this is just autumn in a jar i cannot wait Till it's acceptable to light this i don't feel like it's acceptable yet <laughs> when it's 32 degrees out <laughs> i cannot wait to light you and that was only 6.99 i mean they don't last very long in my house in autumn because i just light them all day Let's pop you there this is like orange corner over here <laughs> This was the last thing that I picked up in TK Maxx the other day. So first of all, I thought it was just an ornament, just a sort of like cracked glass pumpkin ornament, which I actually have a couple more really similar to this without the lid that I got from Sainsbury's a couple of years ago. Brilliant find, I absolutely love them. They're over there in my box. And I just thought this was an ornament at first, but then... Do you know what? I don't think she's going to be lit. I mean, maybe, maybe you could like, can you see that? Maybe you could like rest the lid there and light it. That might be cute. But obviously when it's used, when it's empty, you would just keep it. <laughs> oh, I really shouldn't be having hay fever while talking about pumpkins. <laughs> the two don't go together. Yeah, after the candle is used, you would just keep it as a trinket, wouldn't you? I just thought, how lovely is that? And it was 9 99 so that was actually yeah the most expensive thing i got in tk maxx everything was less than 10 pounds this one was 9.99 and that was as expensive as it got which i don't think is bad at all to be honest with you okay i've got loads of amazon decor bargains here to show you but first of all i will show you the pumpkins that i got from one of my favorite online shops so you may have heard of her she's huge on instagram um, follow her if you don't. She's literally one of my favourite home decor <coughs> shops to follow. Pretty Little Home is what she's called and she does all year beautiful seasonal stuff but her pumpkins are unbeatable I would say. They're just something else and I have pretty much every single one that she sells. <laughs> no, maybe not but I do have a lot. None of them are gifts. I have paid for every single pumpkin that you can see here, apart from this, this was a gift, but I'll get to that in a minute. So I'll take you through my Pretty Little Home pumpkins because you're gonna love them. I will link her website, Pretty Little Home, in the description box below so you can have a look as well. So first up is this white porcelain china, I don't know what you wanna call it, but it's a big white pumpkin jar. So it's obviously empty now, but you could fill it with little chocolate pumpkins or something, marshmallows. I don't know, have it on your little hot chocolate stand, fill it with marshmallows. You could always balance the lid next to it. That would look really cute, wouldn't it? For now she's closed and isn't she just beautiful? The stalk has a little sort of metallic detail to it and the rest is solid white. I cannot remember how much each of the Pretty Little Home pumpkins cost. But you'll see it all when you go to the website. None of them are extortionate and she actually really often has amazing discounts and sales 
this one that I'll get to in a minute, I got half price when she had a really good sale on. So that's my first pretty little home pumpkin. Then I'm gonna have to get them all together because there's so many of them. So I'll start with these two black ones. Now these are so heavy. I think she calls them like concrete pumpkins or stone or something because they literally are made of like concrete I guess <laughs> they weigh a ton but they are stunning and I have two of the large black ones last year I did a beautiful centerpiece in the middle of this dining table that had the concrete pumpkins in there with other things mixed in as well obviously and it looks so so lovely they come in a set of two I love those ones yeah I got those last year but it was a bit later on in the year and um yeah I don't think I ever shared them on YouTube in the medium size concrete pumpkin I got this shade which is like the light gray I wanted them to all be a slightly slightly different color so exactly the same as the large ones I just got the different color in the light gray on the medium size again they came in a set of two and then she does these weeny little ones as well how cute are these these are so great for just scattering and like filling up your centerpiece because you get a set of four in the small so they're exactly the same as the large concrete pumpkin but teeny. and you get a set of four and um yeah they looked so so lovely on my table last year i can't wait to have a little play around and see what i'm gonna do with them this autumn who knows and lastly from pretty little home is this this is new so i only got this like a few weeks ago i put it on my instagram because <laughs> it was so funny i think it was july and this arrived in the post and clint was like what are you doing <laughs> but it was half price guys and honestly the quality here i know that last year i think it was home bargains released a set of three glass pumpkin jars similar to this for like really 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 low cost but i can't believe they would be half the quality of this it weighs a ton like look how thick the glass is and yeah i have not decided what i'm gonna do with her i think she'll go in the kitchen we're actually giving our kitchen a facelift <laughs> next month so the kitchen's gonna look completely different and yeah maybe she'll end up in there on the pretty little home website or instagram um, she has fairy lights inside of hers, I think, which looks so, so good. So I might do that. Don't know. Pine cones? I, I don't know. I don't know. Still open to ideas. But yeah, I can't remember the full price of this. I got mine half price, so keep your eye out for good sales. This, I believe, is the large, because I think there's three sizes, and I'm pretty sure this is the large one. Before I get onto my Amazon pumpkin bargains, I will just show you this one here, because this was gifted from an Instagram shop. I believe she's called um, Bunnies, because usually she makes little bunny bags for Easter. But she's now also making little pumpkin bags for Halloween. Which one's your favourite? Well, that's your favourite. And you like the white one too? Well, no. He loves Halloween just as much as me. So yeah, she kindly sent me two of these. One for Leo, one for Cooper. And as you can see, their names are on the front. And I thought, wouldn't this be cute? On Halloween morning, I might put a little treat inside each one of their bags, put it on their pillow for when they wake up on Halloween morning, maybe something could be cute. But um, I will link her Instagram below as well because I just thought that was so adorable. Guys, I'm actually just gonna have to open the back door. The heat. <sighs> yeah, I'm starting to sweat out a little bit, to be honest with you. Oh, that's lovely. We can hear the birds singing now the door's open. Not the most autumnal sound you've ever heard of, but um, still lovely. So lastly, we come on to my Amazon bargain pumpkins which I will link in the description box below for you. I also will share them on my Instagram. I haven't shared them yet, but there's definitely a reel pending on um, Amazon autumn, <laughs> autumn finds, autumn bargains. So there's a few different ones. I'll start with these because these are just my favorite. So these are adorable little hessian pumpkins. As you can see, they're made of that really natural hessian fabric with a little bit of twine as well. And then there's a little twig 
for the stalk they're just so so sweet i've got four of these and again they're great for just like beefing up a little display corner or centerpiece and just yeah filling up spaces and i just love the natural colors i think they work really well with like all of these pumpkins here like doesn't that look lovely together really lovely colors going on there those are my first ones and then there are the velvet pumpkins as well so similar to what i was saying here i love a velvet pumpkin and there are some really really great ones on amazon for like such such bargain prices i've got lots of different colors and sizes and shapes there is so much more in the box over there but i really couldn't just get them all out and show you them all because i'd be here forever but these are some of the smaller size and i just love the color of orange as well it's not like a in your face luminous orange it's like a really sort of muted i want to say like a dirty orange but that doesn't make it sound appealing but you know what i mean so i've got some that are this size and then these slightly bigger ones as well in white and orange so again burnt that's the word burnt orange dirty orange burnt orange we have the large ones in the lovely burnt orange as well and then i've got loads of white ones as well they come in like bags of like 20. you get so many like it's such such good value i will link all of the ones that i have ever bought just down in the description box but um yeah i haven't got them all out for you because and there you go, my coffee is drunk. All of my decor has been talked about, but there's one thing I can guarantee you, this will not be my last autumn haul. It's my first, but it will not be my last. There will be plenty more to come. I, yeah, I'm fully aware that I have issues with buying seasonal decor. <laughs> Things I'm crazy. My attic is like in sections. We've got spring, autumn winter not really summer because you don't really get out decor for summer i think yeah i just love it and the kids love it and why not so there you go that was my first autumn haul i hope you enjoyed it i will link everything that i can for you if you're new don't forget to subscribe before you go because so many more videos coming your way and i upload three times a week normally at the moment i'm doing two because the kids are on school holidays but it's normally three times a week and i'm just gonna sit here and stare longingly at my pumpkins for a minute before i have to pack them all away for another month it's only like five weeks till i can get them out and play with them <laughs> that's not long is it yay but yeah guys thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video